The Urban Rat and the Suburban Rat. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. A metropolitan rat invited his country cousin in town to dine. This country cousin replied, Delighted, and signed himself sincerely thine. The town rat treated the country cousin to half a dozen kinds of wine. He served him terrapin, kidneys deviled, and roasted partridge and candied fruit. In little neck clams at first they reveled, and then in pommery, sack and brute. The country cousin exclaimed, Such feeding proclaims your breeding beyond dispute. But just as, another bottle broaching, they came to chicken en casserole, a ravenous cat was heard approaching, and, passing his guest a finger-bowl, the town rat murmured, The feast is ended, and then descended the nearest hole. His cousin followed him, helter-skelter, and, pausing beneath the pantry floor, he glanced around at their dusty shelter, and muttered, This is a beastly bore. My place as an epicure resigning, I'll try this dining in town no more. You must dine some night at my rustic cottage. I'll warn you now that it's simple fare. A radish or two, a bowl of pottage, and the wine that's known as ordinaire. But for holes I haven't to make a bee-line. No prowling feline molests me there. You smile at the lot of a mere commuter. You think that my life is hard, mayhap. But I'm sure than you I am far acuter. I ain't afraid of no cat nor trap. The city rat could but meekly stammer, Don't use such grammar, my worthy chap. He dined next night with his poor relation, And caught dyspepsia and lost his train. He waited an hour in the lonely station And said some things that were quite profane. I'll never, he cried in tones complaining, Try entertaining that rat again. It's easy to make a memorandum about the moral these verses teach, de gustibus non es disputandum, the meaning of which Etruscan speech is whatsoever your hunger quelling, pray keep your dwelling in easy reach. End of the Urban Rat and the Suburban Rat